So this week a game trailer or a I think it's more of like a combat trailer. It dropped and it's called The Art of War for Ashes of Creation. And this trailer looks it looks really nice and this is all captured in the game engine as you've probably seen earlier. And I will compare both the game engine, you know, what they have what they have made of the actual trailer and with some actual gameplay. And it does kind of show um where they're at in development and it also shows what the game will be like so everything that the uh the person does in this trailer you can actually do in game and i'm assuming that that means uh maybe some of the parkour elements and combat elements of the game so what this guy is doing here is he's scoping out a node a node being one of these uh player uh, player governed like places or sections of the map and this is actually a metropolis node metropolis is the highest that it can go to this shows some bow combat that has been captured in engine and it looks really good i think that the rogue class looks pretty fun you can actually go invisible which he will probably be doing soon he's going through the node trying to keep a low profile and he's actually got to go up and get a relic from one of the castles in the node I guess it's a castle maybe it's more of a temple type thing he's got to go past the guards and be completely unnoticed to go take this relic so that they can actually siege the base so whenever somebody sieges a node if you completely destroy the node then you will be able to create a new node in its place and that's what this relic is right here it is a protector of the node and that's why he's going to get it and I don't know for sure if the these bosses will be here for the for the node to protect the protector thing but it looked like he killed them with ease this is just a small comparison of what the game will look like on the right this is the game footage that they have captured I'm assuming that they are in the engine and they are playing it because you can still see the mouse pointer whenever they're looking around they have said that the UI is just you know it's just there as a placeholder as of now and here's a couple of things that I have found out recently about the game that I thought was really cool. So kiosks that you see in the village or in the node or whatever, you can actually rent them. And there will be a player government. That government can start construction for different buildings and even apartments so that other people can live in the node. If you, you know, actually grow up with a node and you, you're from the, the start to the finish of it, to the metropolis, you will have a mansion on the in the town premises. And if you want to actually be a citizen in these nodes, then you have to come, you have to claim citizenship inside the node. And you can do that by actually buying a house. Whenever you claim citizenship inside the node, I would assume that you would want to guard that node with your life because invaders and people that are trying to seed your node to take it down so they can build their own node up will be trying to take you down, kill you, and just ultimately ruin your day. Nodes will also have their own economy, so if you buy something in one node, it might be a lot higher than if you were to buy it in another node. And I'm guessing that there will be different node factions and people will be trying to compete for the better node and if they want to take over every single node in the area then they will be definitely taking down a lot of nodes so there will most likely be a guild factor in this game this game certainly does look pretty good and i'm just glad that it doesn't have a bunch of stuff that's looking like world war world of warcraft not world war ii but anyway guys if you did enjoy this video i hope you do go ahead and leave a like follow me on twitter and comment subscribe see you guys in the next video peace